Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Doug from Bjorn Territory and in this video I'm going to show you how you can paint a vampire lord for your soul blight grave lords. Uh, I hope you like this one. Battle ready, three foot fabulous standard as always. I hope you enjoy it. So I begin my vampire lord by base coating it in wraith paint. It's a little bit controversial. I'm coming in with iron unrack skin. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. It's like a slightly green tinge to a pale skin. For the Vampire Lord's hair, I'm coming in with my fist and red. Just make sure you get all round the nooks and crannies. It's quite a complicated piece of hair. As always, remember that your next layer of paint can tidy up first. And we're working for Three Foot Fabulous Battle. Battle ready, and playable. As we're in the red zone, I thought I'd crack on with a shield. And I'm coming in with corn red for the base of the red on the shield. Just going to continue working on the shield and I'm going to come in with contrast volpus pink just to darken it down add a bit of depth to it on the base of the shield doesn't look like much because I haven't painted the dragon yet but put that on first on the vampire lord it's majority black now come in with contrast black the uh, Black Templar. And then come in with that. So for the dragon embellishment on the shield, I'm coming in with Evil Sun Scarlet. Back to the Vampire Lord. Coming in with Lead Belcher for the weapon. I'm now going to come in with Balthasar Gold for the knee plate. And I'm also going to do the shoulder pad on one side. And again on the other shoulder pad. For the shield, another bit of Balthasar gold on the edges. Just coming in with Mechanica Standard Grey for the base. The rock he's standing on. And the gravestone. And mechanical standard grey as well. Be a bit of a point of interest on the base. First wash coming with right and flesh. All the bronze bits. Sorry, Balthasar gold bits. And we do a little bit on the face as well. For the skull that's on the base, I'm using Skeleton Horde, a contrast paint that I haven't used before. Oops, they look quite cool. 
for the greenery around this tombstone, I'm using all fresh contrast paint. And now a no oil wash for the weapon. And the rock he's standing on. I'm also going to use no oil for the hair. So for the hair, I'm just going to come back in with Wild Rider Red to make it brighter. Just picking up the strands. Just coming with Balfour Gold for edge. Make it brighter again. And for the hammer, mace, sorry, just going to come with the edges with Balfour Gold. So into the skin with Screaming Skull, just going to pick up the edges, cheeks, trying not to get it anywhere else. Need a better brush. Cool. A little bit of tiny up to me, but it pops again. For the armour, I'm edge highlighting with a little bit of Calvar Blue. All the sharp edges of the armor. The bat's a little dry brush of storm vermin fur. For the base, a bit of a dry brush of a light grey on the rock. For a little highlight on the brass. There's a bit of lead belcher just on the points. For the base, just coming in with some sterling mud. Turn the point. So I've just finished off the base a little bit, still a month dried, a bit of a dry brush on it, add in a couple of tufts, give it a bit of character and did a light brown edge. And there you go, three foot fabulous, battle ready, vampire lord. Get him on the tabletop, start playing with him. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you picked up some tips and tricks. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, can't wait to speak to you next week. Take care, guys. Bye.